We did it, Yorda. We'll be there any minute now. Until additional wrinkle appear. He has a very particular way of running with a sword. He looks like he wants it to magnetically tell him where to go. <laughs> I don't think I think he held the uh, the stick exactly the same way. Look how bright and glowy the door is. Now give me a minute. I'm gonna leave you downstairs. Go upstairs. Grab the thing, and then you're gonna get captured. You know, just come up the ladder. You'll be like halfway up the ladder by the time I even accomplish my goal, but you slowly going up the ladder will probably make it so that the uh, they can't grab you. That'd be nice. Or, what if me going through here teleports you up the ladder? Is that a speedrun strat? Did I discover one? Nope, she's back at the bottom. Well, it's just like a lever that's like right here, right? Yeah, okay. Go, 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 go. Additional bridge, and there's a rope hanging above that one? That seems interesting. Or important, I mean. Only this guy could slide down ladders. Don't get kidnapped! I think when I had to replay a section last time on the other side, when I redid this, I left her at the bottom, and when I, when I, was get ba when I got back, she was being kidnapped already. I'm like, no, 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 no! Please! Please don't, please don't send me back again! I've been there so many times. Welcome back to the giant room that seemed to have infinite enemies that one time, but then maybe didn't. What's over here? Because the other thing should just be a shortcut back to where we were before. Oh. We're back here. I forgot that that's how that was connected. I guess we're just gonna go yeah we're just gonna go down and try to make it all the way to the oh yeah this is where I got he got kidnapped last time I was running around here to the ramp and you got nabbed while I was <clears throat> you got nabbed while I was trying to get to the ramp and then I had to go back all the way back to the tower I think and replay that far back and it's because she got grabbed up here but the point they were taking to her was at the bottom and it was so far I'm just hoping I can re reach the, the uh, loading gate before they get me. Nope, 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 nope. As it turns out, frankly, I'd rather not. So what happens next? It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel like climactic enough yet, so I feel like it's not over. But I feel like something is going to get in the way. Or maybe after you cross the bridge there's just more. <laughs> or is she going to come attack? Nega Yorda? I don't know what to call her. See if I can make it to this bench before a cutscene or something happens. Hey, I'll take it. She span. She did a little spin before sitting down, like dogs do. <laughs> like how a cat or a dog will like rotate over and over again above their bed before like. Do I want to sit here? Mm, I don't know.
I feel like this is going to be the year where I finally play Resident Evil 4. So the fact that Ico came up too is pretty funny. Everybody hates escort missions except the best games of all time, according to these people. That's a bit of a fun conflict. My eyes! Oh, there's one coming from the other side. I was gonna say, it's gonna take a long time. That looks not structurally secure. I feel like that might crack at some point. <laughs> Just come f collapsing down. Oh, same as before, so I need her to get forward. Funny, this is like an escalation of that, right? I just think about how games like Portal 2 and so on will like have a have a narrative moment that is a, a mechanical escalation of sorts. Or even even Ashura's Wrath with like it's a super QCE. Bah, it's all over the screen. It's like this is just this is basically like those doors she's been opening all game. But it was like a super door to make it feel like you're in the climax. Oh, She having trouble? Oh, she's weakened. How do I... Trying to walk slower, but it's hard. There we go. Where are you, Negayorda? We're about to pat we're about to, to pass the point of no return where you can't stop us. I think that's the seam. Oh. Wow, the game was really aware of that. Oh, is the bridge gonna start opening? When we're split on other sides of it? Yup, you're out of time. Wow, I actually called it. Yep. Uh oh. Doesn't that turn... Oh, is she gonna turn into stone? What is... The... I don't even know she could turn to stone. If that is what happened? Wait, did I land here? They must have taken me here, right? I, I needed water to not die. Wait, what? 
I must have landed in the water and fell asleep and then like something took me here, right? I couldn't have landed here. I'd be so dead. And I know because I've fallen much lesser distances. Um... Can I make that jump? I don't know. Okay, I can. I, I had no idea how far it actually was. There's no re there's no spatial reference, really. Oh, God. But I can't climb the chain, so at some point you just, you know, eliminate all the, all the other possibilities and you figure that must be what they want. So these are all big old cages. Where are they keeping these? Is this world that all the death shadows came from? Captured people. We gotta get back over there. Also, I need to get a stick again. A vital step. Well, I guess we can say goodbye to the escort mission for a while. Surpri little surprise. There's a, there's a surprising lack of, like, uh, sad music or anything. It's just dead quiet. Wind and rain. This, is ex this exists for a reason, so I'm going to assume it's a good idea to do that. Jury's still out on that one. <laughs> Hello. Can you drag? crate around in the water? Can. Ooh, it even doesn't even have to be on a grid anymore. It'll, it'll go anywhere. It's crazy. No, no. Uh, you can only drag it. Okay, I'll, I'll drag it along the wall then. Yeah, I was trying to push it. Try to make it fully flush with the wall. Basically because of that exact reason. It's basically why I was worried. Yeah, you can't push it. You can kind of push it when you put... Last time we tried to drag it. I don't know. Just, oh, just get on the... Please, thank you. Ta-da. I've heard of travel luggage, but this is ridiculous. Okay, exploring this would be a very slow process, so I'm just gonna hope this chain's the right call. Goodbye! You were only- you only mattered for- to me as long as you were useful! So many places to be squished and or murdered. Ah. That thing has things on it. 
Did they go all the way down to the water? Almost. Yeah, I guess I'm going back down. On which part of the game in Dark Souls could this level have inspired? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Okay, I guess pipe only. This child has excellent bo upper body strength. Although it helps significantly to be a child. And not have a lot to carry. Hook was not as centered as I thought it was. And whenever you see me stop like that, strangely, it's because the direction to continue just kind of changed. It's like you were pressing right, but now you have to press upright for some reason. It's because like the camera changed a bit or something. Open for the best. Now what do I do? Uh, where am I? Uh, this is a risky jump. Yep. No. The cost of one fucking jumping mistake is so dire no I'm all the way back at the beginning oh man alright time to redo all the stuff he's just relatively hard to get to reliably do what you want so it's so easy for this to happen. And it's, like, if I just played this game in a vacuum, I would just assume it was dated or something. But, like, I played The Last Guardian, and it's still, like, a bizarrely hard-to-control protagonist. At this point, it's just on purpose. Or he's insisting on doing it himself, and he won't let anyone else work on the controls. Because, like... We've had advances, and yeah, strange. And it's hard, it's hard to remember every single game independently when you play them in separate years and all that. But uh, please, oh my God, please, <laughs> please, thank you. But I feel like Shadow of the Colossus was probably the had the best controls, and that had its own headaches. So that's not exactly a a sterling record. But that means that they, like, if I'm right about that, then they basically, like, regressed for Guardian. 
if you view it as progress or not. Like, it, that, it's not necessarily what the point of it is, but that's a way of ex discussing it. In order to articulate the idea. Uh, that's my bad. I tried pressing circle, because that's the, that's often the, like, the don't do it anymore button. But it's X in this game. Triangle is up for X. Triangle is up for jump, and X is down for drop. And also cancel. Okay. Please don't happen again. Please don't happen again. Thank you. Those little, yeah, the, the spikes that are sticking out screw with your ability to grab the ledge because your legs hit the spike and the character doesn't deal with that very well. No, 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 no. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. Whew. Solid land. Done with you. Goodbye. Open for the best. I definitely prefer to be exploring some kind of building over every part that's like this. Because it's just... it's It feels like watching a loading bar. It's like I'm not really going to... I just turn my brain off for like the next five minutes and do the actions it's telling me to do basically with no deviation. There was that one water room that was kind of like a, you, you kind of had to solve it. Like there was a correct sequence to, to take to solve it. But then I got to the end of that one and realized that was an optional room. You don't actually navigate that room in that direction. You turn off the water by taking the other path entirely. And then you also detonate the bomb to take out the barrier via that path. So solving the wall climbing to, to that second water room ramp was actually pointless. It just dead ends. And then by the time you have to go through that room, the water's turned off. So it's it's it's, the, it's own kind of weird that they, they made a solvable path through the, that room, considering that it was pointless and it was going to dead end no matter what. It's kind of mean, honestly. I didn't need to do that. In fact, if it was unsolvable, then it'd be like, oh, maybe I have to go somewhere else. Hope this is the right way. Please don't fall. No! He overcommits at going up and down. I think he goes, but. No! Okay, it's not that far back. Ah, uh, stresses me out, man. <laughs> One incidental wrong button press is so consequential; makes me worried all the time. I meant to hit the swing button, and I hit the jump button. He goes up and down by specific intervals, when he slides and when he climbs. And they're probably the same intervals every time. It's kind of interesting. Like they wanted to balance it around specific heights that you could possibly land at. Maybe because those are the ones that they would then coordinate your goals with. I don't think I can get that far. Uh, invisible platform. Ho! No. 
Well. That doesn't look safe. that way. You probably exist for a reason. That seems too far down to survive. You might be able to grab the chain on the way down. That seems kind of mandatory. Oh god, no, you have to jump. Otherwise, you'll fall straight down. And that'll be bad for everyone. Okay. That side's broken. That side's eventually broken. So it's just you and me, ladder. He has to... <laughs> he has to commit some really big strides on that ladder. Because he uh, does not have the reach. Where the fuck am I going from here? Is that water? Do I jump in the water? Where do I go from here, game? Do I go over there? That looks like a dead end, too. Where do I go, game? I don't just do a leap of faith, do I? I don't trust that water to work out. Oh, I think I can make it that far. Ooh. Ooh. Every time I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna go just firing off into a completely wrong direction. Like I don't fully trust the jump because, well, I never really have ever since that first time where I jumped for the, I jumped off that block. But like the first time I split up from Yorda, and then I just went flying to my death, and I'm like, well, here's my first death. It's gonna take a while, see you guys later. <laughs> and I was right. It did take a while. Oh, this is the beginning, isn't it? Didn't they use the door to open that? So there's a do the not door uh, the chat the uh, sword. Oh, this stuff's yeah. This is not deep water. I would have died. Didn't they have a sword that they use to open these doors? So I figured that was going to come up at some point. They established that in the intro. I kind of thought that the sword I got was going to do that, but it was just a sword. But there's like some sort of cool sword they keep around here.
Do they want me to jump in that? That seems bad. Wouldn't I just be leaving? Is he just gonna leave? I would figure he's gonna go back. This is like the lowest point, and then you reach the climax. And I'd figure he probably finds the glowy sword. Then it opens the doors himself. And then fights Nega Yorda. The evil. Evil, evil, evil Yorda. Yeah, these are closed. Does the sword also have the ability to close them again? Because all the doors I've opened in this game never closed again. Do I have to push in the water? Maybe it'll take me to where the sword is? He doesn't seem capable of using the boat. I guess he doesn't have oars. Jump in the water. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, is that the sword up there? Sorry, I just now saw the, the ramp on the left. Because I, I, I remember the sword... I, I, I thought I remembered the sword being a thing they collected here. And didn't have with them at the beginning. Here we are. Nope. Well, this thing looks absurdly powerful. The crackle of lightning and whatnot. Does it make a vroom sound? No. Vroom vroom. Yes. Do it. It's a me. Yep, time to replay the intro. But now I am in powerful instead of imprisoned, huh? I mean that's a step up. <laughs> it was pretty bad a pretty bad time for me the first time.